Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Randy Lori. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Are you loving my hat? <laughs> We're gonna take it off though. It's messing up my hair. All right guys, well, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Is this not adorable? I think it's adorable. They also had it in an elf. <laughs> so I grabbed one of those. All right, so this haul is mostly going to be candy, but I did pick up a few other things that I wanted to show you and a couple things at Target on clearance that if you are looking to do any of the stuff I'm doing, you're going to want to run over there and grab it. So the two things, oh, excuse me, my allergies. The two things I got at Target, and these were in the fall. I think these are supposed to be like popcorn things, but um, I think they could be vases too, but I'm using them for Christmas deck. For Christmas gifting this one is blue with snowflakes totally appropriate and obviously the red and white chevron these were a dollar so I got them for 50 cents I could put just as an idea off the top of my head um, already made gourmet popcorn or microwave popcorn um, a movie movie tickets in here you could put Netflix not Netflix uh, red box code candies all kinds of stuff and make it like a movie night which I think is super fun. If they have more than one person in the house, you could stock, stack them up. Now these were 50 cents. They do sell them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have the paper popcorn bags and they also have these plastic ones for obviously a dollar. But I grabbed those at Target for 50 cents just for gift ideas. And the other thing I got is this. It's Berry Blossom. This is Scented Foot Repair Balm. And remember I bought socks like the... Um, fluffy socks from the Dollar Tree so this could be fun with a nail polish so it's a foot a foot lotion socks and toenail polish I grabbed two um, I think I want one for me and these are regularly three dollars so I only paid a dollar fifty and to me that's only a dollar more than the Dollar Tree and you get six fluid ounces so that's a big bottle and it smells so good and it's a foot repair, so I think it's probably a thicker cream that you put on your feetses for your mistletoes. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> so I grabbed those at Target, and then I got a garland from the summer, but I'm going to use it for winter. Okay, now, I messed up my hair. Dollar Tree. I found body powder. This is non-talc. That's good. Body powder helps control odor, moisture, keeps body cool and dry. I use this in the summer, especially when I'm riding my bike. Because, you know, you sweat. And, yeah, this was a dollar. I don't know how many ounces. Five ounces. So, it's not too bad. It smells good, too. And it's a name brand. Arm & Hammer. You know, that's a good, reliable product. So, I grabbed some of that because I do use it. Like, if I'm working out, fitnessy, smelly, sweaty stuff. Um, this is boring, but I just grabbed another tube of this. I like this stuff and I will tell you, it's probably not cost effective to buy this over E6000 and I'll buy another E6000 tube. But quite frankly, this is easier to work with. It's smaller, you do your couple projects, it's gone. You don't have to worry about a big bottle getting bendy and gross. If the big bottle was like rubber, that would be great, but it's not, or plastic, but it's metal and it, ugh. So, for now this however I am on the hunt for a toothpaste roller th downy thingy to use with my e6000 when I buy a new tube because I'm out but this stuff works just as well uh, ie here's one right here I mean it does several projects I mean these are not bad and this works really well I have it in my cart over here and all right, I think that's everything non Christmas related although some of that is Christmas but Dollar Tree here. I picked up these. Look at them. I only found one or I would have grabbed a couple. They are food picks for uh, their bamboo picks. You can put all kinds of foodie stuff. Well, look how festive they are. They're like little small skewers with a bead glued to it. You could make them yourself if you wanted longer skewers, but honestly, you get 24 for a dollar. That'll be plenty for um, Christmas party I'm going to. I'm going to make little maybe a little meat and cheese skewers or something things that I can have but other people can share so I grabbed this I'm on the hunt for a couple more of these just to have because I think that is fabulous so I grabbed that and that goes in my entertaining bucket in the garage 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Dollar Tree candles. I think I've said that before. Just because, really, again, price for price, they're not that great. But we're going to try this one. This is Winter Pine. And I think if I stuck it, like, in my bathroom downstairs, I also have Yankee Candle Winter Pine um, wax melts in that same bathroom. So this should help. But I grabbed just one, and I like the shape of this jar. It's very different than what they normally have. So I just picked up the one. I think they had a cinnamon too or cranberry maybe. I need you to hold on for this friends. It's one of the cheapy scarves but it's the coffee cups. And if you've watched my show for you know 30 seconds or my channel you know how much I love coffee. But this is all of the the coffee cups. I was gonna get two but I feel like if I stitch one together or just tie it, that it's fine. Yeah, see, one is perfectly fine. Anything bigger, I think, would just be too bulky. You could also use this to wrap gifts. That would be super sweet. Like, make a bow out of it. If you're giving somebody, you know, like, coffee-themed gift, this would be a perfect tie. Because I love it. And they also sell in this same pattern... The travel, the plastic travel mug, I got the red truck one this year, but they do have a whole set of this you could put together, you know, as a gift for somebody. I'm kind of obsessed with this Christmas tree because I have no children in my life. I mean, I have little cousins, but I say little. Um, my youngest small child cousin is 13. Nobody in my life is wanting this but me. I just cut the tag off. It's that sequins, guys. And it's nice. It's good quality sequins, too. It doesn't, you're not fighting this at all. Um, let me take off the tag. They have it in the Christmas tree. I saw them putting it out in the, um, a stocking and a star. I would get, I wanted the star to be red and black, but it was um, not. <laughs> so, how exciting is that? I just think it's perfect. It's tiny. It will be a great Stick it in the top of your kid's stocking, your grandkids, um, anybody who's kind of obsessed like me and just wants to rub on it. But I think it's adorable. And I am thinking I could attach this to a bigger pillow. Like stick it on a bigger pillow and have this be the center of like a red pillow or something. But anyway, they had this, they had the stocking and red and white stars in silver and gold. But I loved it and I thought this is perfect. I just love it. Even the back. Like that is a nice quality velour. This is not that cheap stuff that they normally get. Um, it could be a little stuffed more. But you know I'm not complaining because it's adorable. So I grabbed that just because I think it's cute. It'll look cute sitting somewhere in my house. I mean it's Christmas. You can't really under decorate as far as I'm concerned. Or over decorate I suppose. Um, I found this, which I think is adorable. It says joy. It could either be, put a candle in it, fill it full of candy, make a vase for it, just sit it out. I'm going to put a black bow on it because it goes with my buffalo check thing. Um, but it would be a perfect, perfect gift for somebody. A, a vessel for any type of a gift. Even throw a gift card down in there, put some candy around it. I just think it's cute and it's amazing. You know, it's a jar, but I like it. I didn't break it. <laughs> I just threw it on the ground and I hear a siren. The one thing you're going to want to do is get some clean it up. The sticker that they use before they spray painted it, the adhesive is still stuck, but that's fine. Um, another get vessel for gifting these little house boxes. I know people decorate with them. I don't decorate. Look at the inside. It's got the, the details. Amazing. But I will definitely gift this as one of my work gifts full of like some candy or something. Little somethings. But I thought this was a perfect vessel to put a gift in. So I have 14, 14 people on my team that I buy for little somethings. This stuff. So I thought that would be perfect. Um, we all kind of exchange gifts, and then we do one gift exchange. Okay. Hold on to your hat, friends. Look at this cup. 
Is this not adorable? And I know I have a funky glare here. Let me see if I can get the glare to stop. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's a double walled cup. It has the lid with the rubber on it and then the sliding. It doesn't slide real well, but let's be honest, you just leave it open. And we're using it for a month. I will put a straw in this and take it to work. And I love it. Just watch. Like this one has a little scratch on it. Some of them, you know, it's the Dollar Tree. But it says it's the most wonderful time of the year in white and gold with the red. And I love it. They had that. They had a couple other sayings. And then they had the straw cups. But I like this one the best. And it holds a decent amount of liquids. Um, because I, you know, I'm on the phone. I'm working all day. Now, here we go. This is food, but it's not for gifting, although it could be. It's little gingerbread peoples. I don't even know if it's edible. You get four of them. I mean, I'm assuming it's edible because it comes in the food section and there is some nutritional facts on it, so it must just be gingerbread cookies. Yeah. However, I'm taking these to my cousins. We're decorating gingerbread houses, and I thought these would be adorable to put in, like, the yard or on the house. You know, like kids playing. I need to pick up some more. But so I grabbed, um, it comes with four. I should have gotten a couple more, but I can get them. I've seen these every year. And they're just little gingerbread cookies. And they're like three inches long, tall. So I think these would be perfect for decorating gingerbread houses. Now I've got a basket full of foods. These are the foods, and this is my opinion and my opinion only that I would buy, that I have bought and will buy from the Dollar Tree. There are certain things I do not buy from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't like their candy canes, for instance. They are not a crisp line. It's kind of blurry on the candy cane. And for the same price, I can get them somewhere else for a, a better aesthetic for me. I don't eat them. I'm gift, I put them on packages and put them in things, but I want it to look nice. And I'm, I'm a, traditionalist I suppose and I like the red and white striped candy canes so be it but these are things that I think packaging wise and taste wise are worth the dollar or more and you really want to pick these things up when you see them because they do not last um now this one is funny because this is a brand I don't typically buy it's Palmer's I don't like their chocolate when I ate chocolate but this is a mix it's pretzels peanuts and little chocolates and please look at the little chocolates it's a snow, it is actually Rudolph, Frosty, and Santa, the little chocolates. Oh, I'm not going to get it to focus. It's a bag of mix. It's three and a half ounces. This is adorable, and I, this was a winner for me because of the packaging, and it's Rudolph. Even though the chocolate's probably waxy, um, definitely I would buy these for my kids if I had them, <laughs> which I don't, but I share with people. Um, and this stuff is either gifting, stockings tie on the front of packages it's all you know to be given away but for different reasons so i grabbed one of those and definitely worth the dollar again this is my opinion um i picked up a couple of these this is the russell stover which is a good brand and this is peppermint bark i've got a couple co-workers that like the peppermint with the white chocolate i don't know how many pieces come in here two six pieces so it's not the best volume, but it's a good quality. And if I was just going to gift this, I like the packaging on it. Now, I may open them up. I, like I said, I bought two of these because they're individually packaged. I can, just once I've decided what I'm doing, I'll have enough to pass around to everybody. Or, or one person will get a bag of this. And I have one coworker for sure that I know is loves this stuff. So... That worked out perfect. I don't know if I showed you the cinnamon sticks. They always have them this time of year. Um, and what I do with cinnamon, like this size, is put it in mold wine. I'll put a couple sticks and put it in the crock pot. Oh, you could also just stick them in your car. I'm not lying. I love cinnamon. The smell of cinnamon is just holidays to me. Um, yeah, it's not a bad deal. They're big. Keep that in mind. You can decorate with these or you can use them. These are from the Baker Select. So these are edible. Um, so yeah, I grabbed a pack of cinnamon sticks. You've, you've seen my other videos. I have little cinnamon sticks I get at the Amish bulk store that I stick in my tea. 
I like cinnamon. And as a diabetic, it's not bad for me. Um, okay, here's something fun that's not even Christmas related, but I feel like will be perfect in a mug. Chips, chocolate chip cookies. It's Pillsbury, so it's a name brand. These are soft batch milk and cookies, guys. Milk and cookies. I just think this would be perfect with a mug. It's individually packaged, which I like. I don't mind pre-packaging stuff, like getting Oreos and breaking them up. But some people are weird about that. And this way, you're perfectly done. And they also sell Oreo cookies. They come in, it's a two-pack. There's four of them, but they're individually wrapped with two. Which you can also use. But I thought this is perfect. You can microwave these, put them in. Again, gift cards, candy. Just little some things to give people. But, oh. I thought that was adorable and definitely worth a dollar and its name brand on it, guys. We are on it. Um, again, with the mugs, because if you saw, I bought a lot of mugs, hot chocolate mixes. These are Nestle. Yeah, you only get one packet of hot chocolate. So is it cost effective? No. But is it stinking adorable? Yes. So that is why it's worth it for me. Stick one of those in a mug, put in a chocolate bar, put in some other candy or in a bag like in a gift bag with some hot chocolate some of the cookies you could pair these together and have cookies and hot chocolate and a candy cane um and again we're going with the it's not worth it for the dollar but it definitely is worth it for the look you could also buy nestle and just package your own like make these containers out of cardstock but i'm not going to do that they're a dollar they're adorable and to me that is worth it at the Dollar Tree. And not everybody's crafty. And that's the thing I'm trying to keep in mind. Like, I'm a crafty person and would sit there and make envelopes for hot cocoa, but not everybody will. So this is definitely an option. Oh, here's my other peppermint that I bought. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff goes. This branded stuff goes fast. Um, for my sister-in-law, she loves Junior Mints, so I got her these, which are Peppermint Crunch Junior Mints. They're holiday. I already bought her gift but I'm gonna put this with her gift because she loves them so I grabbed those for my sister-in-law and that's actually a present for somebody um oh guys these are the Russell Stover candy bars and this is milk chocolate and it's solid meowy Christmas and then the dogs oh my thought was I'm actually gonna pair these up together the candy bar with the chocolate with the chocolate again who knows but that's my thought when I bought them I typically buy two of things because whenever I gift the other one usually goes to Sarah for her stocking I get her candy for Christmas although some of this stuff might go in her advent basket so she could just have it because I don't want to just give her stuff that she only has for Christmas so these are chocolate bars I've never had them. Um, oh, and the cute on the back, they have a to and from. I've never had these before and how they pair up or stand up to like a Hershey or something, but it's Russell Stover and I feel like that's a quality brand. Um, I only got one of these because I know my Sarah doesn't care for these. These are the marshmallows, chocolate covered Santas. I mean, just the look of the packaging, totally worth the dollar for the visual effect and it's a good quality they have this one and then i did get two of these because my girl loves these um they had them in the caramel the caramels are hard to find and when they go they go um yeah so there's four santas in here with the caramel so i got two of those uh one for gifting and one for my niece because i love her and again, grab this up while you see it. It's not going to go bad by any stretch of the imagination. I'm putting some stuff back into the bucket so I don't lose it. And I just store it in here. And that way, um, except for the gingerbread house stuff, I need to get another bucket that I'll take. I need to start buying candy for gingerbread houses. Okay. Let's just get some of this stuff out of our way, guys. Oh. These were at the register, by the way, not in the Christmas section. And I need to get some more of this snack mix. Okay. I picked up one of these Edamons. Again, it's hot chocolate. So if you know if somebody has a Keurig, you can give them that. Because these are for K-Cups. And I believe these are good on the number two. Yes, new number two compatible. So this will work on all the Keurigs. 
and it's three of the Edamons. It's really good too, I've given it before, but it's perfect for a stocking, for somebody you know that likes hot chocolate. If they're a mocha fan, you could get them one of these and a coffee and they could brew them and make a mocha. But, excuse me, sir, I got a sneezer behind me. So I grabbed one of those. I think one is sufficient, but maybe, maybe more, I don't know. And then I grabbed this Russell Stover peppermint. Again, I only got one because that's all we need. It's a king size. It's a big old chocolate peppermint marshmallow Santa. I mean, it's just adorable, guys. Think stockings for your kids, but also gifting to all the people. Oh, the lady swished it. I don't think she broke it. Marshmallow. And it's big. It's pretty hefty. This thing weighs 2.25 ounces. I grabbed one of these for my coworker because I know she'll love it and it's gonna go with her gift. And it's just, it doesn't even spin. It's a lollipop pops up and it's a chupa chew, chupa chups, chupa chups, chupa chups, something of that nature. But it's a Care Bear. They had all different ones, but she's getting the green Care Bear. And I know she will enjoy that immensely. And then the last thing I purchased is Godiva. Guys, Godiva is expensive. This is quality premium chocolate. I grabbed two. It's dark chocolate with ganache in the middle. And the ganache is like a fudgy consistency. So I grabbed two of those. They may both end up with my Sarah. Um, oh, uh, Wellington would like to say hi. Say hey, buddy. Say hi. Mm -mm. It's our day off today, isn't it? I tried to sleep in. He was not having it. All right, buddy. Get down. There you go. I got to go work hockey later. So, yes, um, the Godivas. This is a great, great gift. Um, I know that these candy bars go for 3 or $4. At, I think they're two eighty nine dollars at Kohl's. Now you get a little more quality, but these are nice. Nice gifting. So, that's what I have so far. I probably don't need any more candy. Um... As for gifting purposes, that's going to be my candy for Christmas. Now I will buy some more containers. I think I have these. I have the little mini bags um, that I purchased already. So I need to come up with a game plan and figure out who's getting what. And then I will bring you my work co-worker gift video probably I would say the beginning of December is a good time. Maybe Thanksgiving weekend we can look at that. Um, but start buying this stuff now. These products, these name brand products do not last. I can guarantee you. I'm even thinking I need to go grab a couple more of these right away to have for when we go do our gingerbread houses. Um, we buy the kits that are already made. That's Wellington again. We buy the kits that are already made and then we... Um, decorate them and then I bring extra candy for the kids to decorate with like M&Ms and peppermint sticks the little ones that they sell at the Dollar Tree are nice to make fencing and some Nilla wafers and some um, airheads are fun because they can kind of manipulate them and make things so anyway that is it for my Dollar Tree candy haul and a few other things I picked up for the holidays if you enjoy please like subscribe share my video let's get this channel going although we're up to 6,300 and something subscribers all right guys well I'm gonna give this man some attention before I have to leave for work and you have a good one and I will talk to you later bye say bye buddy go say bye he's not saying bye <laughs>